Guys, do you know how to use custom list in UiPath apps? And how is that different from a table control in UiPath apps? In this video, we are going to talk about how to use the custom list. We'll get a demo and understand the differences between the table control and the custom list. So without making any further delay, let's get started. All right, let's delete everything to start fresh. Let me delete the custom list. Let's delete the table control. First of all, to understand custom list, we will compare it with table and understand what is the difference and also learn how to use the custom list. So let me first drag and drop the table control and I am also going to drag and drop the custom list. Now to use the table control, it is quite simple. Just click on the table control and here on the properties, there is something called data source type equals to symbol and there are multiple entities which have kept entity means tables and this model phone contains the brand name and model there are two columns actually okay so simply click on the entity and add the entity in the data source pretty simple and it will automatically show you the columns brand name model name, whatever the columns are there and you have the option to delete remove adjust them how you want right you can you know top and bottom you can move it all those functionalities are available in the table so let's first have a look at the table then we will understand custom list now you can see this is how the table is appearing all the data that is there in the table apple samsung right all the brand names and the model names are coming in the table great now for the custom list look at the left side from you know uh, content here you have something called custom list so if you highlight the custom list the entire thing gets highlighted and if you click here now what is happening the templates are getting highlighted do you see the templates if you expand it you will see the templates are getting highlighted so there are multiple templates inside the custom list now what you have to do simply highlight the custom lists on the left side panel once you highlight there is something called data source go here say equals to and i am going to use the same entity model form now if I hit on preview, do you think the data will come? Now on the preview window, if you see the data did not appear, okay, it's completely blank. The data has not appeared. Now how do you get the data? There is header, there is label, there is action and one with a new beginner might get confused. Let me tell you how to use it. First of all, let me show you, let me use one of it. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, this is a control, okay? Inside the custom list, we can add as many as controls we want. If you see, it is a button. Now, if you see, this is an image control. If you see, this is a header control. If you see, this is a label control. So, you can drag and drop as many controls you want. Let's say I need one more button. So, you can also do that. You see, or let's say I want to remove it. So, what is happening? The moment you are adding something, it's get replicated to below templates or below containers now let's say uh, so let's do one thing let me copy this and paste it okay so what happened two times it has come now in the label what i'm going to do select one of the label and then in the uh, general tab okay in the text this one i'm going to say equals to and i will go to that table model phone and i'm going to say hey in this one you show me the model name so it is going to show model name from that table in this one. Now for this one, I'm going to say, hey, show the brand name. So I'll put a equals to symbol. I'll go to that table and select brand name. So there are two columns in that table, brand name and model name. Now if you, and for this button, I want to change it to buy. So what is happening? The moment you are making any changes in the top layer, it is getting replicated to all the below layers. Now let's see what happens if you hit on preview. Okay, now in the preview window, you can see it has shown the table in a different way. Apple, iPhone 12, right? Everything is coming, right? And there's a buy button which is coming. Okay, great. Now everything is coming properly. But let's say I don't need this header. Header is repeating several times. So let's make some changes. I'm going to select the header and delete. So that is going to replicate to the below one. And we select this and delete. 
delete so that got replicated to below one let's say i don't need this image icon i'm going to delete it and i want to add a phone icon so i will say phone and uh, okay select the custom list and let me say phone not here click on add control and then type phone so here I have a phone icon. So let me drag and drop this phone icon somewhere here. So what happened? The phone icon got replicated. Now look at how the custom list is going to appear. So it is more like a table, but again, it gives you more flexibility. You can add as many number of controls you need. For example, I added a phone icon. Is it possible in a table? You can't do that on a table. You cannot add a control. Can you add a button in your table? No. So custom list provides you more flexibility okay so that becomes the difference between the custom list and a table and you can see everything has come okay one plus all, all the things have come now there's also another challenge you might face what is the challenge if you see the scroll bob this is a vertical scroll right the scroll is working now in case the scrolling option for your custom list select the custom list doesn't work highlight this go to style okay and ensure the, un, the size property right is not set to auto if it is set to auto then you will have problem so ensure it is set to some fixed height so here you can see i have fixed it to 400 pixels getting it if it is set to auto then that scrolling will not work now i have a question for you the question is what is the help of vertical scrolling how the vertical scrolling helps and what are the settings you have to enable for vertical scroll so please do comment in case you know the answer so thank you guys for watching this we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye